Let me ask you at home and even the guys here in the studio a question. Let's say your boss offered you an easier way to log on to your computer in the morning or bypass having to get changed for the vending machine or even get through a secure door uh, by having a microchip planted in your hand. Anyone? Yes? Anyone? No! Yeah, well, it's uh, apparently happening and not everybody's happy about the idea. I'm stunned to hear that that's actually something that's being considered now. I mean, that sounds so science fiction. Kind of does, does it? That's why we put Samuel Burke on the task. Apparently the guys in the studio aren't having it. How about you? What do you think of this? Well, it's experimental, so we can't be sure of what's going to happen. But you know me, I'm an experimental type of guy. <laughs> so are. I would go along with it just <laughs> when it comes to work, nothing else, hey? But basically, <laughs> what this company is doing, they're trying this out. And I've got to tell you, this is RFID technology. That probably doesn't mean a lot to anybody at home, but it's the same technology we have in our badges that we use to get into work. So there's a company in Wisconsin. They're giving com uh, employees the option, and about 50 out of the 80 employees have opted to do it. So they can, instead of using the badge or instead of using their phone to buy something at the vending machine or instead of using a credit card, they just have a little chip inserted into uh, their hand right there between the thumb and your pointer finger. It's done by either a tattoo artist or someone who has a license to do piercings put in that way. And it's really just the same technology that we're using inside other devices, only you can't lose it, even though I've been known to lose my hand every once in a while. <laughs> now, important to note here, the FDA has granted permission for similar technology to be used before, but they have regulations over concerns of radiation from some of these chips. So mm. there are potential issues out there, but there are regulations in place. I'm guessing you wouldn't do it, Michaela. I'm completely freaked out by this idea. What if somebody decides to cut off my hand and use my hand to get inside the door somewhere? Okay, okay maybe I watched happen, too many movies. But what's, <laughs> what's, what was interesting to me is I actually talked to the CEO of the company behind this technology. It's a different company that's using it for their employees, but the guy who's really one of the inventors behind this. And I said, do you have concerns? And he said, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm concerned about hacking. I would be concerned about governments using it for nefarious things. So even Good the CEO point. himself says, yes, it could be used negatively. Experimental. It, it, it'll cut down on the people saying, hey, can I just borrow your badge? Because they have to drag you with it. Um, Interesting, interesting. Let us know what more we hear about this, Samuel. We'll watch it with you. Thanks very much.